Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is um, a series circuit and we're going to be using kiloohms and milliamps when we walk through this circuit. So here we have a basic series circuit, four resistors, 250 ohms, 4.2 kiloohms, 2.7 kiloohms, and 12.3 kiloohms. The purpose of this video actually is to work in kiloohms and milliamps, so that's what we'll be doing. We also have a total voltage here of 120 volts, and these are the, the things that we'll be solving for. So we already know our total voltage, which is 120 volts. Now let's solve for our total resistance. And since we're working in kiloohms, we'll have to change the 250 ohms to kiloohms, and what you do then is just move the decimal three places to the left. So we end up with 0 0.25 kiloohms. Now in order to get our total resistance in a series circuit, what we do is just add up the resistances. So we have R total equals R1, which is 0 0.25 kiloohms, R2, which is 4.2 kiloohms, R3, which is 2.7 kiloohms, and R4, which is 12.3 kiloohms. Now when you're adding them up, all you need to do, of course, is just add up the numbers because they're all in kiloohms. So we have 0.25 plus 4.2 plus 2.7 plus 12.3. Okay, there we go. 12.3 equals 19.45 19.45 kilohms. So that's our total resistance. With that total resistance we're going to solve for our current. And again, we're using Ohm's law, E equals IR, and we get to the point where we're solving for power, we'll be using these formulas. So, using E equals IR, if we want to solve for current, we just divide both sides of this equation by R. So we end up with I, current, and that's total current, equals our total voltage, divided by our total resistance. Total voltage is 120 volts and total resistance is 19.45 kiloohms. So we take our 120 and divide it by, now it's 19.45 and then the, the K for kilo is our, we push the button, the exponent button, exponent 3, that gives us 19.45 times 10 to the 3. Divide it, and we end up with 6.17. So 6.17, and we have 10 to the minus 3 here, which tells us that it's milliamps. So 6.17 milliamps and there's our current. Now once you've solved for current, so resistor and current, once you've solved for current it's a really good idea to just save it in your calculator. So we're going to store in the memory our current because we'll be using it a lot. So we've solved for resistance and solved for current. So I'm just going to write this down here. I total 6.17 milliamps. All right. So now the next thing we're going to do is solve for the individual voltages. We've got our total voltage, our total resistance, and our total current. Now we'll solve for the voltage across resistor 1, resistor 2, 3, and 4. And we'll do that again by using Ohm's law. So voltage 1 equals R1 times I total. And again, we know that the current that's running through this circuit is running through 
every single resistor because we have a series circuit. It's like water running through a river and in this river there's no way out. Okay, so it's always the same current going through here. So now R1 times uh, I total, the resistance is, and we re remember it was 0 0.25 kilo ohms. So 0 0.25 kil kilo ohms times, and I've written it backwards, so that's why I'm stalling here. So we take our current, which is still in the calculator, and multiply it by 0.25 exponent 3 equals 1.54 volts. And it makes sense that this voltage is small. We can see that the 250 ohms is quite small compared to the other resistors. So then this voltage should be small. Second voltage, let's write it the, <laughs> the proper way. Current times resistance, and this is resistance 2. Again, our current is 6.17 milliamps. And resistor 2 is 4.2 kilo ohms. Again, we just pull our um, current from memory. So recall memory. There's our current. Multiply it by. 4.2 exponent 3 equals 25.9 where are we going two decimal places so 25.91 volts voltage 3 same formula current times resistance 6.17 milliamps times resistor 3, 2.7 kilo ohms equals, and you can see I'm not paying attention to sig figs here, not too worried about it. Um, when you're paying attention to sig figs, you really just need to know what your instructor wants from you. All right, so here we are. Again, recall from memory our current multiply it by 2.7 exponent 3 equals 16.66 so 16.66 volts and E4 I total times R4 6.17 milliamps and a big resistor here, 12.3 kilo ohms. Recall our current and multiply it by 12.3 exponent 3 equals 75.89 volts. Now we can see large resistor, large voltage. Now, it's always a good idea to do a check. We're going to add up all these voltages. What should they equal? They should equal around 120. Depending on how many decimals we used, we'll be close. All right, so 1.54 plus 25.91 plus 16.66 plus 75.89 equals. Holy smokes, look at that. 120 volts. <laughs> That's pretty good. Normally, you don't get it so close, but because we rounded to two decimal places, that's why it's looking good. So, last piece. We've solved for all the voltages here. Last piece is power. So, power 1. And power, normally, I use either... Uh, voltage times current for power formula or depending on the circumstances I might use this. You can also use power equals E squared over R but I find that usually it's these ones that I'm using but it's whatever works for you. So power 1 I'm going to go with voltage 1 
times the current, and that of course would be the total current. So the voltage one is 1.54 volts, and that's multiplied by our current, which is 6.17 milliamps. Again, that's the wonderful thing about this uh, memory, is here we are working with current again, and it's in memory. So we have our current, which we're recalling, multiplying it by 1.54 equals. So we have 9.50. We have 10 to the minus 3 here, which tells us it's milliwatts. Okay, so 9.5, yep, 0 milliwatts. And power 2. Voltage 2 times the total current. Second voltage is 25.91 volts. Multiplied by the current equals. We call the current multiplied by 25.91 equals 159.86. So 159.86 milliwatts. Power 3, voltage 3 times current, and third voltage, 16.6. 6 volts times our current equals times 16.66 102.79 so 102.79 milliwatts and last one power across the resistor 4, E4 times I total. Okay, what's that voltage? 75.89 volts times our current. This is obviously going to be a larger one. 75.89 times, recall, current equals 468.22 468.22 milliwatts. Now it's a good idea to do a check. So you add them up and of course all we're doing is adding up the numbers because they're all in milliwatts. 9.5 plus 159.86 plus 102.79 plus 468.22 equals 740.37 milliwatts. Now at this point, it's a good idea to do a check. And the check for total power, and that's what this is, is total power. The check for total power is total voltage times total current. 120 volts times 6.17 milliamps. 120 times, recall the current, equals, let's hope this is right, 740.36 milliwatts. Okay. That is close enough. Okay, so all this does, this piece just says, okay, I'm, I'm good. Everything's fine here. As long as these two equal one another, you can be very confident that your circuit is correct. And there we go. That video is Where is the Glasses? That video was brought to you by Wise Guys, and I hope you have a fabulous day.